Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the scrap room and I'm using a flavors of the month kit from Echo Park Paper Co. It is called Monster Mash and it is just funny and fun and Halloween and all those good things that come with Halloween, you know, just all rolled into one. So I don't even know what I want to use, but I do have black cardstock. It is a nice, smooth, very sturdy black cardstock from my colors cardstock. Like nice, nice weight on that. I have got a whole sticker sheet with the icons and banners and all of those funny, spooky, happy things. Now for the papers, this one is called Happy Haunting. Love Z Purple and the googly eyes. This is hilarious with all of these like portraits. And this is called Party Monsters. And then finally, this one has these funny little jack-o'-lanterns and a great limey green. And it is called Faces of Halloween. Now, I can show you my photo. Then I have to actually sit here for a minute and figure it out. This is my best friend in a Snapchat little filter. And I thought it was kind of hilarious. So I thought we'd bring this for the photo. It's, you know, her dressed as a nun with some nice black lipstick, black and white, orange and black spooky writing perfect for this now let's go ahead and put this aside because you know we can use a bazillion you know of these pieces and it will end up being fab hmm now i'm low-key looking at a piece of black cardstock so let's start there let us just start there i'm gonna go ahead and cut it to my 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter that i do and then we just have to hope for the best that we will have papers that we want to mat it with. Maybe I have papers I want to mat it with in this collection. Don't know yet, but we're going to find out as we create. I have a bit of a thing that I really don't think about it that much until I sit down and see where it all takes me. So I've got this, right? I've got, oh, I need to mat this with a little scrap. And by the way, this is coming out a lot lighter because it's kind of sunny. It's a jet, jet black. You guys, that's funny. I'm going to go ahead and mat that with a piece of scrap white cardstock. That seems to be a good plan. Let me go ahead and just take a look really quickly. Nope. Possible on that one. It's kind of fun. I do like that. And we've got this. I don't really need the pumpkins. That's interesting, but not quite the vibe. I like that so far. So for this moment, doesn't mean it won't change, but for this moment, let's think about this as my mat. We'll go like that. I'm gonna do just like a yibbit, like a, like a sip of adhesive to tack it down. Like so, now I will gut it. Maybe I should gut it before I do the tacking. Well, then the tacking won't stay on. I don't know. Let's think about this. So we'll pop that down hmm, right about here. Okay, now we've got some pieces, right? Oh, those are cute. Definitely want to be able to use some of these pieces. And it's Halloween, right? So I kind of feel like we should be a little loosey-goosey with some of these. So why don't I, you know what? This is not the time. This is not the time, my friends, to be tidy. So let's go ahead. Oop, that didn't work. And just get a few strips. Taken care of. Now, I'm thinking to start that I like that. I want the white core showing. Lovely. Now, with these, I want to cut out a few of these. That's why I'm not so concerned with that side. And then with this side, I can do the same exact thing. Let's go ahead and just get a couple of strips. Now, this first one, I'm not, you know, vibing because I don't want the straight edge at the top. I don't even know what my plan is. It's going to be great. <laughs> I know I want to fussy cut some pieces. And I know I like paper. Great. I'm going to go ahead just for good measure and tear another one. Because, you know, who knows? 
it'll be great. The whole thing's great. All right, so approximately the same size, white core showing. You would think that one could have shown more, but we can make that happen, can't we? Let's see if my emery board takes it off easily. Oh, yes, it does. I keep an emery board, and I know some people hate that sound, so I'm sorry. My mother cannot stand it, which is kind of funny. So I make sure to, you know, do it if I can. Um, let's tear this edge about the right size. Tear this edge. So we've got something going on. Not amazing, but something is going on like that. Let me go ahead and fussy cut three to five of these characters. I want to get this popped up on white. I know that so far. I already have scraps on scraps, guys. What's going on here? Scraps on scraps already. Okay, so I'm happy with all of that, guys. I have lots of other papers to look at as well as this bit. Maybe we should find a title. Maybe we should, ooh, definitely want to use my Halloween banner. I think he's cute and bright and happy and I like the pink. Maybe I'll use both Halloween banners because we've got this one too, like that. Um, I do kind of want to bring in some of that purple on the background and bring it to the foreground. I think that would be awesome sauce. <laughs> then, oh, this would be a lovely couple, these two. So we can bring these two you know, happy little trick-or-treaters onto my block right here. So anytime I put something on my block, I, it just basically tells me concentrate on these things. Easy peasy. Now, sweet treats. We have these frames. I could totally make shakers out of them if I want. I don't know yet. I was just seeing if something was really grabbing my eye yet or not for a title. So not yet. Great. I have those pieces. I'm going to go ahead and gut some of the purple out. I think two stripes with the purple will really make it pop. And I have to fussy cut some of this. And I'll meet you right back here. So these pieces are not stuck down. The photo's not stuck down. Just these pattern papers in the background as well as my matting. Awesome. Let's take a look at the pattern paper kit to see if something is striking a fancy. I can definitely map my photo with the funny little baddie bats. That is just cute. I might do a little bit of tearing and put some of this in as well. And then I'm, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, they're cute. So my cute little people can stand on this. The yellow will work. I'm gonna give them like a little ledge so they're not just floating around. Fine, fine, fine. That would be cute. So they can stand there. I can map my photo in this like we talked about. Is there anything else I need right now from here? Oh, guys. I so like this die cut right here. Well, it's not a die cut, but it will be. And it reads so sweet. That would be cute. Uh, I wish that this cauldron didn't have the words next to it because that would be perfect. Just to have another cool die cut sitting there. All right, I have that, like all that, fun, fun, fun. And that, then if I want to bring in any of these cute words, I can, and I love that. All right, so that's for the pattern paper kit. This needs to get matted, that needs to get cut out. Perfect. Now let's run over to the Shots of Life kit and see what we have going on with that. Ooh. I already know I want to cut this piece out right here for my title. Absolutely. Oh, guys, look at how cute this paper is. All right, I'm going to map my photo on this as well. So double mat with the bats and the stars. I love the pink. Love the pink. Okay. Let's see. We've got these guys. Oh, I'm, I'm having a problem because I want to bring in everything. So I do know I want to bring in this label too. I am definitely like pro label. Give me a ticket, give me a label. I end up being so happy with that. So I wanna get this piece. This is my title, unless I see something else that will be magnificent, but I like that. Love these little skeletons. So what I'm gonna do, I don't think I need them for this layout, but I am going to save them. 
for, you know, when I design again. I love that. Ooh, and I love this. And I don't even know if I'm going to use this again. But this is one of those things I do with these papers. I'm like, yep, definitely want to fussy cut that out for something. And like I said, today maybe, tomorrow maybe. I don't know. Ooh, guys, see this cauldron? Am I going to have anything left by the time I'm done fussy cutting out all the little bits I like? My answer is I have no idea. I love these jack-o'-lanterns and I love this cauldron. So with the other paper left over <laughs> from my grabbing die cuts, I'll mat the photo. That's how it's going to go. Guys, these are I like him too. Oh, guys. All right, so this one is a total win if you're somebody that fussy cuts out elements. Love all those pieces. I can double mat with these. That's great. Now, I do have some die cuts that are part of the Shots of Life kit. Let's take a look at them really quickly. See if any of them want to be used right now or not. We've got this little mummy that reads October 31st, and I kind of like it because it's bringing in more of that yellow. We've got some banner pieces that are cool. boo -y can be spooky. We've got this really cute little frame piece, but I have enough of those things and a banner. Love my costume, All Hallows Eve. This piece, maybe, but I don't think I, oh, if you've got it, haunt it. That's kind of cute up there. Ooh, that's kind of cute up there. But I would need one more of these pieces, which we can do. Phew. All right, I've got some things to fussy cut, some things to think about. I've got to get my photo done, pop it up, and I'll meet you back here when I do a little bit of this homework. So this is almost done, except for I have a couple little things to address. The embellishment kit had these gorgeous enamel dots, and I will sprinkle them around. But my framing on this is super clean and I kind of, oh, by the way, I decided the photos would go, don't really know why, with the banner and the title up there and great, nice and tidy, but nice and tidy is tricky for me. So I think I'm going to tear some of this and add some of this star. So what I mean by that, let's take off the title for a minute. I'm going to come in here and do a little bit of shallow tearing. Now this is mildly terrifying because we don't know how it's gonna go. But since I tend to love as much pattern as possible, and this is looking just a little tiny bit too tidy for me, I thought this would be a way for us to get a little bit more zhuzh in here and make it just maybe a little spooky too. Spooky spook. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of peel that back then I'm gonna try I might have to monster mash as it were some of this together which is not a big deal so what we can do is get a couple one or two patterns we'll see how it goes patterns tucked right in here and try to line them up like we meant for this to be a thing because why the heck not? So we have that one. Cute. And then I'm like, okay, need something because I have a little bit of an iffy part right there. So let's just go ahead and chop a little bit more. Don't even know how much I want. So since it's going to meet up to this one, I don't want that one to end up being like Mr. Perfect Pants either. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Just playtime with paper, my friends. Playtime with paper. So we have that. That can go right on that. Oh, we got to tuck it. Tucky tuck. This can go up like this a little bit. Now, this needs to go back in line oh, with these pieces so it can be fancy again. It can tuck right into that crease. Oh. I didn't even have to really do anything that went right across it. Let's get a little more adhesive on my title piece. Tuck that in. See how we feel about that. All right, so I like that I've got a little bit more pattern. I like my bendy pieces. These pieces need 
a little bit more of a ruckus too, just because Halloween is not to be neat and tidy. And whenever you bend these pieces back a little bit, you get to see a little bit of the other side of the pattern. And it's, it's like you end up scoring more and more and more, and it's fun. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing that. I'm gonna get my enamel dots on here and I'll show you my finished layout. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, guys. This, this collection, there's something just beyond whimsical. The colors are perfect. You've got these little critters. I put this little sign down here. I have all kinds of little stars from the sticker sheet. Enamel dots here and enamel dots here. And we have ourselves a fun little Halloween layout. I will have all the links down below for the Scrap Room website, Facebook group, and the blog. So you can come see all the shenanigans going on. Join in the, um, you can join in the challenges, all that kind of fun stuff, guys. And I'll see you ever so soon with another layout. A few still shots to follow right there. Bye, guys.